Our two sons came along with us for the weekend to explore more of Georgian Bay. Gorgeous waters where Michael himself traveled with his family as a boy. We are realizing what a gift this boat has been to reconnect and have adventures with our two grown sons at a time in their lives where hanging out with your parents really isn't that much fun. These things are great. These are, I, I call them wire ties. Um, I picked them up at, at Home Depot. I like the orange because they're easy to see, uh, but uh, they are fantastic. They come in several different sizes and they just make it so handy in storing your cables and your hoses and keep them in a nice tight uh, package so that they don't spread all over the place because of, as you know on a small trailer with boats there's not a lot of room on them. Here is another little handy device that we use every day. It is a clothesline and I found it when um, I was camping with friends they showed it to me and it's a stretchy piece of elastic that has suction cups on the one side if you want to suction cup it to something but I don't use that part. It also has little clips, oops, <laughs> clips on both ends. And so you can clip it to something and run it from one end of the boat to the other. Or what I do is I put it here on the railing. I clip it to itself and I just wrap it around a bunch of times. The, the beauty of this little device is that you don't need clothes pegs when you are on board the boat. All you do is you hang your tea towel or whatever it is you want. Bathing suit. Bathing, Bird. yeah, anything you want. You pull it up through the twisted part and it hangs. And I mean, it, it doesn't come loose. Even when you're underway, I keep this. So if you want it in the sun, you throw it over. If you're worried that it's gonna get spray or it's gonna get wet on that side, you pull it in. So, super handy tip. Are you guys dropping it in? I can get that if you can't get it. What are you doing? We're, we're trying for the first time. We're gonna th throw this throwing for what the first time? Doing it on the roof. Oh, yeah, this is crazy, but because the boys are here, we can do you it. You should but. tie a rope to here and here so it rolls and does a whole 180 onto the bottom of the hull. Well, we're just gonna throw it off. Like, let me get off of here. I wonder if I get onto the bow, if I can see this in action. Well, we're going to have to throw it, so I think Leaf's right. There is a black rope there, Leaf. Mm. We're going to toss this thing to the water. I'm sure, my side's a bit like hit something. You here. see that black rope just jammed in the uh, in the port side? It's just a short one. Okay, so the plan is to just toss it off the boat. It doesn't matter what way it lands, just try to throw oh, it. No, we want to shimmy it out your way. The yeah. semi plan. Little piece, Eric? Yeah, yeah I know. It's on the edge. Ready? Yeah, you got the transom, I know. Let me know when you're ready to toss it. Don't put it on that side of my neck, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah, you right yeah. Let yeah. me know when you're ready. Dude, that's really like... I just gotta shove it, eh? Yeah, yeah but you gotta shove it so it lands the yeah, right same way that we have it. Like boat with that big aluminum steering. This ready? is like that... Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> ready? There's grab nothing this. to grab, there's nothing to grab. Grab the lower side of the transom, put your arm like you're doing an uppercut underneath the middle of the transom. There you go, yeah. yeah. It, just, it doesn't transom. matter if it lands upside down, just throw it out. Yep. Two, two. Kill you. Good job, boys. Right, is there a certain valve that we got to hit first on this? Big one, let's start. Oh! oh.
There you go. Well, that's disappointing. And we're still alive, and we're going back to the boat. But we're not in the big water yet. Oh, oh boy. We're in the water. This That'd is going to be wet, interesting. Sister. So we'll head out to the limestones later yeah, on. An yeah. hour or two. Yeah. We're fishing and forging by with our dad who's still alive. Barely. Barely. Barely alive, yeah. There's Trolling. gonna be a heck of a guiding fee after throwing you guys through that water. <laughs> through those but it did get get us one small mall. And last time you were here, oh, you found time. a yeah, I found a, a snapping turtle shell that was about the size of a garbage can lid. I mean, it was huge. A piece of history. A piece of history, yeah. Now it's changed. A piece of turtle. But, uh, we'll go fish along this edge here. Yeah. See what we can come up with. We need at least three smallmouth for lunch. We got one. Is it? Yeah, this is a pretty here. small fish. What we got? Cock by leaf. Cock by leaf. Just take them out in the sun here. Look at that, eh? Oh, oh scared me. I know. What's on the end of his tail? Look at him dive down there. And dive down and eat that thing. He's just eating on the bottom. He's got it halfway. Oh, he's just he's just in heaven right now. Because this is the easiest, all I have to do is tolerate these guys here, and life is good. Good spot. Awesome <laughs> spot. Trust Leaf. Oh, there you go. That's where he's going to sleep tonight. You're good. Oh, 
hard to, I couldn't keep track of you coming down. You were going down too fast. <laughs> I lost you. Actually, I was, I was photographing Lee. Crazy time thing to go back in. Maybe we'll find some bigger ones. We just spent the night on Franklin Island and we are heading to the South Limestones, which is a group of limestone islands that have cropped up in the middle of Georgian Bay with nothing else with limestone around it. So apparently it's really, really interesting geographically to look at. And so we are all heading out to take a look at that. Put your mattress out onto the back there. And this one's having a little nap down below. Uh, just trying to figure out our next, try how to get through this uh, maze of rocks. It's, um, it's going to be tricky. Everything's like 8 to 14 feet, but we got a couple hours, so it's good that the boys are having a sleep. Yeah, they worked so hard. <laughs> Neutralizing. Yes, pH. Out, yeah. Yeah. Acidity yeah, acidity. to make it more base. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, right. I know that rivers that have limestone in it are actually better fishing rivers. Hmm. Because the rivers, like the rivers in northern Ontario and whatever, Canada, they have a lot of very acidic for some reason. It's not, oh, look at all the birds out there. Well, I was just going to say that they use limestone in gardens here because they're the acidity of the the um, evergreens. Ah. So you put you put limestone down in your garden if you want it to make a more basic soil. Limestone Island Provincial Park is located 14 miles west of Perry Sound in Georgian Bay. Crazy. Is that a creature? I don't know. That one point like or what? It's fossilized. It's something fossilized. I don't know what the. Dude, it's a fern. Oh, you might. Yeah, it could be a plant. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments for us, leave them in the section below and we'll get back to you.